But I wanted the city of Waco to know that in this general area, we are really having a lot of intense conversations about maintaining safety. Waco ISD putting our children's safety at the forefront today by hosting a roundtable discussion with dozens of city leaders. Fox 44 Zoeli Mendoza showing us tonight why the meeting is so significant and what local leaders are hoping the outcome will be for the school year. School may be out for summer, but that isn't stopping school and community leaders, first responders and mental health administrators from coming together to discuss school safety. Look at the strength around this table. And if somebody threatens the safety of any one of our schools from China Springs to WISD, we have a plan in place and uh, we can take it as far as we need to take it. Over 30 city leaders, including several Waco area superintendents, attended today's discussion. Anytime we can come to the table and have conversations of what different districts are doing, different municipalities are doing, it's good for everyone. Their goal, to formulate a plan to keep each and every student safe. To have um, the administration with WISD come forward and say, hey, we want to make your kids safe. And to bring all these people in the community together um, to come up with a plan like that means a lot to a parent. It also means a lot to us in a, as, a, in a, as a fire department. Some of those changes, increasing personnel like counselors and security officers, buying more weapons and helping staff identify signs when they see them. So it's really about mitigating circumstances, working with our mental health community to identify, prevent, intervene on kids who uh, may have issues. All of which can't be done without the proper funding. We also are underfunded as public schools. And so we just don't need any more unfunded mandates. We really need to ask ourselves, is this a priority? We have to find that coalition at the state and hopefully we'll have some revenue going forward. General budgeting, hopefully we'll have some money for that. Safety is number one. Now we do want to let you know that part of today's discussion was close to the media to allow for a more candid conversation. In Waco, Noelle Mendoza, Fox 44 News.